Ooh, what's up, you guys? And welcome to the PBAL. Of course, the finals here: Adam versus Ryan, or the um, Arkans Alaka Sams versus the Carolina Pensis. Um, yeah, reason I uploading this game is because I'm joining this league next season, which should start really, really, really soon. And since while wow, this league have a lot of people or only having actually Wi-Fi battles, all of them are in pocket tubers. I really just want to see the games myself, see how they play, how they synergize and whatnot, and just overall share a final of a league that may or may not actually be that well known. Um, and yeah, I mean. Who doesn't want to see a final? These two guys, Adam and Ryan, are the best of the best of this league, and I expect the game to be showcased as follows. Um, Adam's team here is uh, with Sora Orc, Aerodactyl, Landris, Empoleon, God of War, and Drogon. Should be noted, I don't know which one is Mega, it can be either Aerodactyl or God of War. However, um, one thing I see with this team is that uh, while we do have actually four potential stealth rockers, uh, this is a team that's absolutely weak to ice, however, it doesn't look like that's going to be an issue against Ryan, but it's always a thing to kind of watch out for, you don't want to leave yourself really weak to ice here, and I feel that's an issue, and probably going to definitely do with some heavy duty defensive part if that's going to be forced to happen, but overall, this looks to be a really solid team. Ryan's team here has one really strong merit, it has a Mew, Mew can be anything, everybody knows that, it's a very annoying Pokemon to fend off against. Sorry, had to drink coffee and I felt, mmm, needed that. Uh, we also see Swampert, which is really underrated. Definitely not the Mega in this team. Uh, Meg Mortar, which also at the same time here, really underrated. Really good score for a Swampert user for this specific team. Uh, Megalopony, gotta be, like you don't use Megalopony. And Megalopony looks to have a fun time here. Ice Punch will take him a far away. Um, of course, if this is the Mega Arrow, Mirror Aerodactyl has gone out speed, and that's going to be an issue for Ryan here, if anything. Uh, Hooper Confined, which can always be nice. Um, I think it's here, the 150 special attack kind of is kind of tough to switch into. While well, it is weak to Pursuit, the only Pursuit user we can see here is Sora and Aerodactyl, and they usually don't run Pursuit, but that's an aspect that Ryan has watch out for. And then, of course, Conry. Um, all the thing I say about Ryan's team that looks kind of kind of tough to pull off is stacking and that is mainly because Skarmory and Mew is his defogger so no spinning here and of course Skarmory likes to set a spike so it's whether or not he want to pull that off or go just for a defensive merit Skarmory so really without further ado um, let's of course go into the match that's why we're here uh, also here on the right side here I'm doing a bit of a sprite work instead of um, the original artwork just to kind of kind of get a feel of which one I want to use in the future um, so let's see here uh, Ryan's gonna start off with Mew. That's a good lead, if anything. And um, Meraxis, Dragon. Alright, so we can probably assume that we're gonna look upon a possible stuff rock play here from both sides. As it's a nasty plot. This is a Sora arc, of course, given really, really good play here. As. Uh, hmm. We see a C Icicle, I Sub Zero Slammer. It will still do a good chunk though. Sora, all things considered, only has 60 base defense. So, if anything, if this is a Sash Sora, it could very well KO, I think. It's not an easy switch in for sure. So, let's see how this pans out. Oof! It did take it though, though barely. Um, one thing I'm gonna stand out here, of course, the Dark Pulse is a play. Um, that's the thing that Ryan doesn't necessarily have a switch into that. Magmortar could potentially be a salt vest here, but I do believe it's still a two hit KO no matter what. But well, that's that's a fat Magmortar. Dear lord. It took it like a champ. Oh we got the flame stuff. Oof. Oh you don't wanna see that. You don't wanna see that, right? So we're definitely gonna get what I could only assume is a law of play. Get the fake out KO here. Um Really unfortunate. Uh, if Magmortar or Salt Vest here wasn't Flame Charge variant, I definitely think we lost a really good opening here for Ryan, if anything. So um, now the real Drago comes in, and of course I can only assume that, um, well, potentially, um, that Ryan went for return instead of a fake out just to avoid a Rocky Helmet variant or rather get as much damage as possible. Ice Punch! Really good play here, really good play for Ryan. Um, definitely got the, oh returning the hacks dear lord this is not this is gonna be interesting like this is a lot of things keeping taps on um 
best player of course to get away a lot and don't get in receivers there as this mule comes in already of course revealed that it has access to ice beam um well i wonder what happens here he's gonna go for ice beam here nightshade comes in that's going to be the death of sword so we got our first ko on our hands what about that i screwed up the crosses there we go <laughs> <laughs> so no cross for you all right um sorry i messed that up um we don't use the crosses for this game if they're actually lower <laughs> or like sort of far it's not gonna get crossed out so right we have a scarf guard over here of course with you really good set that's a modest motherfucker dear god at the damage vault switch from you you don't see that very often that's cool to see um let's see so lot when it comes in um does Lopani out speed though? I assume that to be Scarfed. Um, could have been Specs, it could be a really slow Mew, I guess. But quite frankly, that was all right, that was really tough to see. So go for a turn, fair enough. Um, Dragon should be in range with KO here next on out. As Rocky Helmet, Rock Skin really do kind of with a Lopani down. Um, I wonder if I would have gone for KO there anyway. I think we're gonna do right play here, trying to get some passive damage. You, after all, 10% of getting unfrozen. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that's the play. As uh, oh, softball in front of his face. Nice, nice. That was probably the best play he could have done. Zip Volt Switch is an ice beam. Uh, gotta see which one is his last beam. I can only assume Stealth Rocks or Defog or potentially Nasty Plant. Um, though Nasty Plant doesn't necessarily make sense with Volt Switch in mind, but there is a dead Dragon. So cool. Now we got that one out of the way. Um, Dragon, after all, I think got hacked out, which is really unfortunate. Um, actually, we're just gonna leave Sora Arc with that weird screen, just because I think it's fun. Because I messed up. There we go. <laughs> it knocked out. <laughs> so, right, Skarmory, very safe switching here for Ryan. Um, Moomla shouldn't do anything here. Let's see, is it Specs possibly? Oh, it absolutely is. Um, it's just a slow mew. Dear God, Skarmory, like, Skarmory take that resistance hit and it just, ooh, just free falls with damage. I've never seen anything like it. It could potentially roost all here, absolutely. But, you know, once a crit kind of kicks in here, Skarmory could potentially be gone. He barely recovered more than Moonblast is doing. Um, yeah, so, of course, uh, Adam is keep playing this game because, quite frankly, I think he's in a winning position of just keep doing it. And I think Ryan is um, putting himself on a spot here with Skarmory. And I think we're gonna see that eventually Skarmory is gonna fall. So it's better getting the damage out from damage output from Skarmory if anything, or get stealth rocks or whatnot. It really comes out to preference. But it is absolutely falling here. Um, yeah, I don't know. This looks this looks tough. I'll definitely say that. I think. I think he's on the spot here, if anything. Um, right, this switches that out, so right. Um, Adam switches out, go to Empoleon. That would mean that Skarmory could come back up. But yeah, he goes for Drill Pack. What do you know? I think uh, Adam here missed his opening. Um, really unfortunate that Skarmory is going to keep on living. Goes to Hoop on Find. Oh, can't find. Hmm. So goes to Gold. Going to do just about nothing. Because it actually is specially defensive. All things considered, Hoopa is specially defensive. But that knockoff is gonna kill Hoopa. That's as gone. All right, there we go. That's that's how success looks like sometimes. That's almost <laughs> kind of tough to see. Right, Swampert, good response here. Easier quake or self rocks has access to grass knot. <laughs> Ooh, this is an offensive Napoleon that just does everything right. Ooh, I feel for Ryan here. That was that was actually a good play. Um, very surprised not to see Rinderberry on Swampert. Seems to be a, usually an overall very good response. Uh, we do see Protect, however, so I guess that's fair, all things considered. Um, hmm. Thing is, though, what do we do from here? Like, I can only assume he's forced to go for Grass on now, anyway. Um, Right, it switches that out, makes sense. Go to Mew. I wonder whether or not I should have play that. Since we already know that Emporium has knockoff, it has a way of actually damaging Mew anyway. 
Um, so it's kind of tough here to try to fend off in this position. Of course, since I'm probably going showcase, it is offensive. You want the damage I put here, so if anything involves, it's going to be your potential, um, what do you say, ship damage? But oof, a flash can does a lot, though. Yeah, it's this, this is as good as it gets. So yeah, Volt Switch is to play. Sack play Swampert most likely, and um, trying to get either Iridactyl or Ladders in to try to tank this Pokemon out. Goes right for Law Party. Ooh, this could be bad. This could be bad. This could be real bad. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know there. Lopper is gone, my porter is gone. This is this is looking tough. Keep Volt switching. I don't know if that's the right play. That's, that's not the right play, is it? Ooh, this is looking bad. This is looking really, really, really bad. Um, his remaining Pokemon, of course, aren't coming in on, on this Empoleon freely. Um, this Empoleon is doing the works. From Ryan having that massive momentum in, in the start to actually just not getting back. Keep on going for those Volt Switches, which aren't doing anything. I wonder if this is an Assault Vest variant of Empoleon. It, it kind of looks like an offensive variant of that, and it just putting in the works. Um, I was really sure Adam was the one putting on the spot here, but he is the one attacking effortlessly and freely here. This is not looking very, very good for Ryan at all. So that's Skarmory gone, so we have Swampert, or it's gonna absolutely fall apart, it's been a bit there too early there. Let's see, oh, it's faster however, so we, we gotta take that cross away. <laughs> Skarmory is still kicking it. Thing is, what can Skarmory do though? Eventually we're gonna see a Skullburn, and... Um, okay, well, you know, we, we could get that, I guess, to cross his back, there we go. Yeah, I, I, I'd probably see who is definitely winning this and I'm really surprised consider how that stomp was going um, for the life of me here I I don't know how our opponent here is gonna be able to uh, actually come out on top with so much ship damage done to both Mew and Swamp but there really aren't a way to open this it basically is whether or not Empoleon is gonna fall but yeah 1 HP is gonna get Swamper too and this is yeah, I'm, like I said here, I'm really surprised how this game is going. Um, I mean, it's clearly in torrent range and just doing the nasty damage with Skull. Um, if anything, I think Ryan should be happy that it isn't the surf or anything like that, because that would have been wrapped up already. Does it have Aqua Jet though? It doesn't. Alright, Empoleon, while being the absolute MVP this game, did not get to have the last laugh. So, yeah, I can only assume that we're gonna get something to wrap up the game, get to make evolution go in, and that's gonna be GG. Um, wow, what a game, really. Definitely, like I said, turn of momentum there. I barely saw the turn of momentum coming. I didn't see Empoleon just solving it. Um, I'm absolutely devastated and really surprised how this game panned out. So, all things considered, Congratulations to, of course, Adam or Adamite uh, or Adamantium, I think it was called. Um, sort of a butchering your name, if anything, Adam. Um, and the Archons, I like the Sam, of course, winning this game 3 0. And, um, well, I guess you could leave the game with some afterthoughts. You guys saw, of course, the game itself and also saw my faulty editing. So that's that's a thing. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm screwing this up as we go. There we go. And, of course,. Adam's remaining Pokemon should be in the clear. Should fix the crosses there. I probably messed them up when I did the templates here. So probably shouldn't do uploads with this at the same time. Um, glad we got that out of the way. Not gonna try this again as a live narrator. Gonna do a different style next time. But um, yeah, I mean, first and foremost, definitely to Adam, I'm gonna say pulling that solar nasty plot in the beginning, really huge. And pulling the Dragon play and forcing you to go for his C Substitute Slammer. Um, I think that was the right play to go directly for that move just to knock out potential leads. However, Solar do tend to force play players to play differently and all my experience that myself, of course, as Solar is hard to predict if done right, and this worked for a lead. Um that said, uh, the flinches on Magmortar could have been really well, should say it, um kind of productive for how Ryan was forced to be playing. 
But at the same time, neither Hoopa or Swampert did the work it, it wanted to because Assault Vest and Polygon just was that good. He really just knocked it out of the park um, and he had nothing for it. I think it was really impress impressive to see. Um, never seen Assault Vest and Polygon or an offensive Polygon be so well rounded for a matchup. It did everything right. It didn't care for Skarmory. It didn't care for Swampert. It didn't care for you. It just worked versus them, and it had the means to pull them off. Um, so all things considered, I'll say both players really GG. I think Adam, while getting a bit more luck in the beginning, Ryan also got that versus Dragon to get that uh, Ice Punch to freeze, and uh, who knew? Uh, I think the only misplay Ryan was doing was actually switching his Law Pony versus the Empoleon for Skull. All things considered, um, Law Pony was a really still a Pokemon that outspeed his complete team besides Aerodactyl. And I think sacking is like that and not risking or sacking something else to get high jump kick or drain punch out of the way was um, game changing. It definitely made basically that uh, Ryan had no more switch into us and Polyon and Volsies was not shipping anything there. So tough play, um, probably should have sacked Swampert instead. But that's easy for me to say, of course, all things considered. Um, also should have been Rinoberry, um, Swampert, and gone directly for each Q or Earthquake. I think. Playing defensive there as Empoleon showcased to be offensive versus Skarmory was not only a big risk, but it definitely left um, an opening for Adam that just worked because all of a sudden Empoleon was doing a lot better than he should have done. So, for the thing, congratulations Adam to the, of course, the title from the PBAL and uh, we're absolutely gonna face each other in season two. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys there, of course. And uh, thank you for, of course, sharing this game. Really, really interesting game to follow here. And, really interesting sets if anything so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this game and uh, i'll see you next video till then take care